Hi there, my name is Vince from Mr Telephone and today I'm going to show you how to run an external cable. Okay, and then later in the video I'll show you how to run an internal cable. Now, the first thing when you're running the cable is make sure that the cable clips fit. So if you see this cable, the cable flip clips fit nice and snugly on there. Okay, you don't want them too tight and you don't want them too loose. So this is an example of one that's too loose. If you put that on there, when you won't be able to get a nice neat job because the cable will be just sliding in and out of it and when you go around the corner it's just going to be pulling it, it won't be neat. So make sure you get the right diameter cable clips. You can measure the diameter, this cable, most, most external telephone cable is about 5mm okay? and these are 5mm clips. Now, I've only got one in here just to show you. When you're going around corners, always put them about uh, an inch and a bit away from the corner. Yeah, and again on that side, so it would go about there. It's a nice neat job, and uh, it's uh, it's nice and secure by the by the corner. Now, when you come to run it along, a, you want run it along. You want a nice straight line. So what I always do is I run it along the mortar joint, along here. If you run it along the brickwork here, what will happen is it will start to go crooked, and you won't get a you won't get a neat job because it's kind of hard to get it perfect by eye. So the bricklayers have already done that for you. So just do it along the mortar mortar joint, and you pull it nice and tight. Put the cable clips about about every foot. What I do is just want one, one, one every hammer length, and then that will give you an, an idea of how where uh, where to put the cable clips. You don't want to put them too close because it will look horrible. You don't want to put them too far away because it might sag a bit in the middle. So you want it about every about every hammer length. Okay. So I'm just going to pop a couple of in just to show you. Now what you always have to do is have the cable clip with the nail underneath the cable. Some people don't realise that and they put it the wrong way round. And when they do it like that, what can happen is this, the nail is here as well to support the cable. And then over time, if the, uh, you know, because they, they do go brittle over time, if it's like that, the cable will drop away. If it's like that, the cable rests against the, rests against the cable clip. So that's uh, about one hammer's length away. And then you should always wear safety glasses. Okay, I'm only doing a short length here, so I won't be wearing safety glasses. But... If you're doing this every day, wear safety glasses. In the past, when I was working on some pebble dash, a little chip did come out, went straight in my eye. I had to go to hospital to get it removed. It was quite, it was quite painful. So always do wear the safety glasses, and obviously watch your fingers. Don't be bashing your fingers. So some some walls are easier to do it on. Some walls are harder. Okay, but just get it started like that. Move your finger away. Now this is hard mortar, so this is quite hard to do. Now, did you see there, I did loads of little taps rather than one big hit. If you do one or two big hits, you're just gonna bend the nail. So just loads of little taps to get it in. Sometimes you can be lucky and it can, uh, uh, it can go in really easy. This is hard mortar, that's why I had to do loads of little taps to get it in. Again, another hammer length away. Pop the cable clip the right way up with the nail underneath it. Get it started, move your hands away. Okay, you can see a nice straight line here. That's a bit annoying there because the, the cable clip the nail went into the brickwork, damaged the brickwork a bit. So uh, just keep it up a little bit as you go along. Sometimes you can't help it, but you keep going along. So another one would go here, another one would go here, and then you go around the corner there. Now, if I was to uh, pretend I was drilling out here, I'm not gonna drill because I don't wanna make a, make a mess of my wall. But if you were drilling, drill from inside out, and then when you go through, you need to use a, a masonry bit mostly for telephone cable this is uh, an 8mm will do the job 8mm and this one is how long is this one it's about 18 inch okay and that will get through most uh, most most walls obviously uh, some older houses or stone walls are thicker but in the UK most of these uh, most of the walls you get this will get through now when you're drilling when you're drilling drill from inside out and what you need to do is when you're drilling through the wall you need to just get my drill When you're drilling through the wall, you need to have it on hammer, okay, and you need to be pointing, pretend now I'm on the inside of the house, you need to be pointing downwards, okay? So you go into and the house uh, and you drill outside. Obviously you've got to look out for, don't be drilling below or above a plug socket, look out for your light switches, don't be drilling above or below that, or, or to the left or right, 
<coughs> excuse me, because the cables from power can go up and down and left and right from this from the actual socket or light switch. <coughs> so what you do is you uh, you drill down, you get it on hammer, and you drill down like that, just at a slight angle. And the reason you do that is when you push the cable through, the cable is then travelling up. So if there's any water on the cable, it won't come into your property. You will see that with silicon, I'll show you that in a minute, but uh, still do it at an ever, ever slight angle there and then the water won't travel up. So you drill down like that using hammer, okay, and then when you get near to the end of the, it's hard to judge, but when you get near to the, when you're thinking you're going to come out the other side, maybe take it off hammer or just don't have as much pressure on it because if you've got loads of pressure on what you're going to have is you're going to have a, have a, a huge uh, a huge breakout so when you're drilling in the brick the brick will break out okay now so what you do is when you're running your cable let's pretend that our our hole is here that we've just drilled out you have to put a little drip loop in so we run the cable along and then you put a little drip loop in like so and then feed the cable through the wall and you can put a little uh, a little cable clip here just to secure it. What happens in then, let's say if this is running up here, the water comes along, if it, if it comes along here, it will come to here and the water will drip off. So there's even less chance of it entering into the property. So you've drilled a hole there, you've got your drip loop, you've passed the cable through, the, uh, the, the drill is going upwards, so basically from the outside it's going upwards, from the inside you've drilled down, so it's going up from outside, so no water can get in there. And then what you do is you seal it with some silicon, some mastic. Now, depending on how big the hole is, you don't need too much of this. Just fill the hole and make it nice and neat. Okay, so just fill the hole. Don't put this everywhere because it looks horrible. So just fill the hole. If you uh, if you do have a really, really, really bad breakout on the bricks, you can get these things. These are called brick bursts. Personally, I don't like them. I think they look ugly. But sometimes you've got no choice if the bricks have really broken out bad. So they come in three different colours: terracotta, black, and white. And what you do with these is you throw a load of mastic on silicon and you place it over the hole like that and your cable goes up into it but I don't like them I think they look ugly I think it's better just to have a little bit of mastic in the uh, mastic in the hole it's best not to try not to break out the, the brick if you're lucky you might end up going through the mortar then it doesn't break out but you can't really judge it's very hard to judge where the mortar is so uh, yeah that's how you run a cable on an external wall now, as you've seen here, these just about went in. It was kind of touch and go, especially on this one. The cable clips are starting to bend. This is a hard wall. Pebble dash is a complete nightmare. If that's the case, then you've got to use these little things. These are called pin plugs. They are fantastic. Let's show you that one there. Little hole there. Okay, they're pin plugs and they're really, really good. What they allow you to do is, they allow you to run a cable on pedal dash without, uh, without all the cable clips bending. So if you've, if you've tried and they're starting to bend, you try one more time and they're starting to bend, just give up, it's not gonna work. Just get yourself some, some of these and then you can run a nice, uh, a nice neat job. Okay, what I did forget to mention earlier is, when you're going across, follow the mortar line, but also when you're going up, you want a nice straight line. So if you have a look here, you can see the mortar line, mortar line, mortar line, mortar line, mortar line, and that gives you an idea of where you can run the cable. Again, if you're there, it's gonna be hard to get it straight. But if you follow the mortar line down, you can get it nice and straight, because there's nothing worse. When you're hit up close, it's kind of hard to tell, but when you stand back and have a look, or if you look at the houses across the road, there's nothing worse than seeing the cable going down the wall like that. So always follow the mortar lines, uh, and make, well that's if your mortar lines are straight, and it gives you an idea then that the cable's nice and straight. Now back to these pin plugs, these are really, really good. Again, I'm not gonna drill my wall, because uh, I don't want to, uh, I don't want the cable on the wall. This is just a, you know, just a, a little how-to video. You need a five millimeter masonry bit. On hammer again, this is a brick down here. Okay. You go in just the amount of the pin plug, which is about that much, yeah? Okay, and you just pop that in there, get yourself the hammer, pop that in. Let me bring this closer so you can see this. Okay, get my cable. Now these are a must for any, any people running telephone cable, network cable, aerial cable for your, for your TV, satellite cable, whatever. But can you see there, it's in there now, and then you pop that in there, and that's it. See? Yeah? And again, you do that all the way along. They're a must have, especially for Pebble Dash. Pebble Dash is a complete nightmare. 
So get get yourself get yourself some pin plugs. Again, I do sell them in my shop. I'll give you the address at the end of the little how-to video. And just quickly, if you're doing internal cable, this is just some skirting board. Let's move that out of the way. Internal cable, right? So imagine that's going across there. Different ways to run internal cable. You want it to blend in as much as possible because cables are ugly. So, common place to do it is on top like that. Okay. Another place to do it is along this line here. Okay. Wherever looks neat. Some people opt for in there. Personally, I think the top looks the best. Yeah. So you run it like that, and you can either use staples. These staples are nice because they've got little white paint on the top to make them blend in nice because a lot of staples are just silver and the silver really does show against the the white cable yeah but these are nice because they've just got a little bit of dusting of white paint on top so when you're stapling be really careful this is a proper cable cable tacker it's rounded there so your cable goes in there like that so let's just pretend we're doing it on this one here so you go in there like that and again with this you do it one staples length okay so you do it a bit more than the cable a bit more than the cable clips one staple length like that and again when you go around corners pretend this was going up here now you'd have one there and again you would have one here like that so okay so go closer at the corners if you were cable clipping it same as external you put the cable the nail nail underneath and it would go like so and again, one hammer's length, so the next one would go roughly about roughly about there, like so. Yeah? Okay. Staples look nicer, look nicer on the inside because they take up less room, but I appreciate a lot of DIYers are not gonna not gonna pay for a staple gun if it's just a one-off job. So the cable clips work perfectly fine. The main thing is to run the cable nice and straight. So when you're unreading the cable, get all the kinks out of it because sometimes it can be like this and you put it on there and it ends up like that and like that. You want it nice and straight, yeah? And then if it's nice and straight, you see it blends in much more. If the cable is writing on like network cable, then put the writing towards the skirting board and then you can't see it. If it's like that, it stands out more, yeah? It doesn't look nice. It's not a nice finish. You can see, yeah? But if it's like that, then you know, it's not too bad. It's never going to look nice as if it's hidden, but uh, unless you're doing a complete refurb, you're not going to be hiding everything. Right, so that's uh, that's how to run a cable. Hopefully, it's made a bit of sense. If you want to buy any of these products, okay, you can buy them at www.mrtelephone.co.uk. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and there'll be hopefully more how-to videos in the future. Thank you very much. Bye now.